They said, are you running the marathon, he says. I said, yeah, yeah. The couple asked how he believed he would do. Keflazai told them he would do all right. He informed them that it was to be his 26th and final professional marathon. He mentioned finishing second, third, and fourth before noting that he won the New York City Marathon in 2009 and the Boston Marathon in 2014. They said, you won, he says. You never know the reactions you will get. The forecast this year calls for light rain, cloud cover and extended applause for Keflazai. Sunday's Nick Marathon is being billed as one last megathon by New York road runners. It is to be his 26th and final professional marathon. He is not ruling out a return to run for charity, he is a long-time ambassador for Team for Kids, in the future, but family will welcome him into retirement at the finish line in Central Park. It will be the 47th running of the New York City Marathon, and the 11th time that Keflazai has taken to the 26.2-mile course across the five boroughs. He will wear his inimitable bib, the one marked simply as Meb, before organizers retire the option of racers going only by their first name. It is bittersweet for us, Nur President Peter Siachia says. It is going to be very emotional when we see Meb cross the finish line. Keflazai is one of 11 siblings. They immigrated to the U.S. from war-torn Eritrea, and Keflazai arrived stateside when he was 12. He graduated from UCLA and ran his first Nick Marathon in 2002. He went out fast that year and crumbled after hitting the wall at mile 21. He finished ninth overall. I told my coach it's my first and last marathon, he said. I got my PhD the day, what to do and what not to do. Rebounds followed. He was the runner-up in 2004 and won in 2009 when he posted a time of 2 hours, 9 minutes and 15 seconds. Five years later, he put forth his personal best in winning the Boston Marathon one year after terrorists bombed the finish line. He wrote the names of three bombing victims and the name of a police officer shot to death by one of the attackers on his bib. Everybody that runs has a reason, he says. He flew into New York from a family gathering in San Diego on Monday night. Seventy or so family members will await him at the finish line Sunday, and he has signed up to come back later at night to greet the race's final finishers as they cross the line. Race officials are expecting more than 50,000 marathoners to complete the race. Security will be increased in light of the West Side terrorist attack, but as much as the city changes around him, Keflazai knows the course better than anyone. There's no race like New York, he says. There's no other. So delightful to be here.